Hello Year 6 transition students coming to Broadwater in September. I'm Mrs Green if you haven't already seen me on the other videos um, and I hope you've had the chance to have a look at the school tour and the helpful hint videos that are on our school website as well. Um, if you haven't have a look uh, it just might give you a little bit more insight into what to do at Broadwater when you arrive in September and where to go. Um, right, so this is the answering questions section. Um, so thank you to all of those of you that have sent in some amazing questions that I feel that um, all students will be in exactly the same boat and wondering exactly the same thing. So it's brilliant that I can do this video and answer those key questions that you've sent in. Um, if you've got questions after this video, don't worry, um, please send them in anyway and I can respond to you and reply via email. All right, so I thought I'd start um, with um, the questions and I can answer them as we go through. Some of you might know the answers already, some of you won't, but it's just really helpful um, if you're not entirely sure. So first questions, I had the first questions from Chloe. So thank you, Chloe, for emailing me your questions. Um, so the first uh, question she asks is, where do we go for break and lunch time? Which is a really, really good question. Um, so when you come to us in year seven, you will be using the lower school playground, um, which is on the helpful hint video. Um, so if you have a look through that, it will show you exactly which doors to go out of. Um, and you will, you will use that sort of field area. There's some seating in there and what we call the cage, which is the... Um, caged uh, uh, court if you like um, so you will use that for break time and lunch time you can use the bistro at break to buy food and and eat your food in the bistro and then you can go outside once you finish your food and the same thing at lunch as well so if you want a hot dinner you can order it from the bistro bistro and then sit into the the seated area that i showed you before on the helpful hint video and um, and then you can go outside for some fresh air we really encourage you to go outside for some fresh air um at lunchtime um so that you're not constantly cooped up in the building so um go and enjoy the sunshine um and things like that if if for example it does rain we do have wet play so um wet break you will go then to your allocated area which we will tell you when you arrive to us in september okay thank you chloe another question from chloe was um what will we have a buddy on the first day um, that's a really good question because um, we don't actually use a buddy system because we have prefects. So what we have is um, on the first few weeks, so in the first half term at Broadwater, um, in room 11, which is allocated, um, which is located, sorry, next to uh, student services, um, our prefects will be there. So all of our year 11 prefects will be in that room um, at break time and lunch time. And you will be able to go into that room and chat to your prefects, um, ask them any questions that you might have. They'll be able to tell you what we do at Broad Water, tell you, speak to you about challenge hour and all the extracurricular activities we do and subject specific things we do as well. Um, so that's your opportunity. So um, we don't have a specific buddy system, but that will be an option for you to use. We might, depending on what happens in September, we might allocate you a prefect as your buddy. Um, but we're very unsure of who will be back in September at the moment. But if we all are back at September, um, the whole school, then I will be doing that. So you will know nearer the time about who your buddy will be and you'll be told on the first day and I will introduce you to your prefect buddy. There'll be a group of you that will have one prefect um, so you can speak to them and go to them if you have any worries or concerns. OK, thank you. Will we start on a different day to the other year groups in September? Now, um, our uh, first day in September consists of year seven and year 11. It always has done. Um, it allows the year sevens to settle in a little bit quicker and get to know the school and do a school tour and, and spend time with the tutor. Um, and then year 11 start with lessons. Um, for this time around, you will come in um, with year seven possibly with year 11 as well that hasn't been decided but I'm assuming it will be the same and um, but you will spend the whole day with your tutor all right so we, we, we will be using that day as a transition day uh, do I get to see my form tutor before September 
That's a really good question. Um, due to current circumstances, um, obviously we can't, because we've got year 10 in Broadwater um, at the moment and they're all in separate bubbles, as well as the other students that are in, um, we can't invite you to come and see us um, for your transition day like you would have on the 1st of July, which is really disappointing. Um, however, I am going to try and visit um, some of your schools and come to see you on the week of the 6th of July. I've spoken to some of your head teachers at your primary schools, which is very exciting. So I might get to see some of you. Um, some of you I won't be able to come and see. However, I am going to organise the form tutors to do a Microsoft Teams meeting with you um, and your tutor group. So you will see the form tutor, but virtually, not face to face. Um, I don't think we can do that at the moment. Um, if you have any concerns about that or more questions about that, please email me and I, I can speak to you and and fill you in with some more details of what we can trial um, just because um, we're very unsure with what's going to happen at the moment. Um, so for the moment, you won't see your tutor face to face prior sept pr um, before you start in September, um, but hopefully you will see me. And if you don't see me, we can try and arrange a, a Microsoft Teams meeting. Um, we'll just need, um, hopefully your parents will be there as well so we can see them face to face. Okay, thank you very much, Chloe. Those are brilliant questions. Um, I'm going to go to my next question, which was from Lily. So, will I get into trouble if I'm late to lessons if I get lost? That's a really good question, Lily, and I think a lot of people will be wondering the same thing. So, you have two weeks, a two-week timetable at Broadwater when you start with us, and that's um, that goes on for until you're in year 11. We always do a two-week timetable. We expect you within those two weeks to, yes, you might not know your way around the whole school. Um, so, yes, you might be late to lessons within the first two weeks, which is absolutely fine. If you do get lost, go straight to student services or ask a student nearby or go to a teacher. Or if you see a prefect, they're in the blue ties or they'll be in the red, green and yellow ties. Go straight to them and they will be able to direct you in the right place. Um, if you are late to your lesson, just tell your teacher. That's absolutely fine. Um, if, however, this happens at maybe Christmas, um, you might you will, you will get a strike on your ready to learn card because by Christmas you should know your way around the school. Um, but within the first few weeks, no, um, we will allow you <laughs> to know your way around school and give you time for that. So don't panic too much. Okay. Um, will I get my locker key or locker on the first day? Um, yes, uh, Lily, you will. Your tutor will give you, if you've um, purchased a locker, your tutor will get your locker key to you on the first day. Um, if your key doesn't work or if you've lost it or if you can't open it, um, go straight to student services and Mrs Thompson will be able to help you with that. All right. So, yes, you will get your locker key on the first day. What happens if we can't have our transition day? Um, absolutely. So it is um, certain that you won't have your transition day this year, which is very sad. And I'm very sorry that that has happened. Um, however, we are transferring transition day to the first day in September. So you will still get everything that you were going to get in, in July, but just in September. So um, don't feel like you're missing out on anything. You won't be. You'll be spending that day with your tutor. We'll be doing different activities. We'll be doing a P4C session. So if you don't already know, we are a philosophy for children's school, which where we focus on caring, collaborative, creative and critical thinking. And we use these in every single lesson and we do this every half term we have a p4c session every half term so you'll be doing that on transition day in september as well so don't panic too much that you'll be missing out and you'll have to go straight into lessons we will be having transition day in september okay um do we go straight into lessons on our first day in september no you'll be doing transition day like i just said so um You'll be spending that little bit of extra time with your tutor and um, we'll be having a school tour and things like that. So don't worry too much. The second day, yes, you will go straight into lessons, but the first day will be more of a settling in day and making sure we've got everything you need to start at Broadwater. 
when do we find out our houses um, and our tutor groups? So this was asked by Lily and Sam as well. So thank you for that question. That's really important. So um, we, you will find out by the 1st of July. So we're, I've been in touch with all of your uh, primary schools and sent them off a forms document to complete about each and every one of you and I've got your friends list from the uh, social stories that you sent in and um, that you sent back to us so thank you very much for those of you that did that's that's vital information to help me put you with people you want to be with at Broadwater in September um, and in your tutor group um, obviously I can't guarantee that you'll be with all, all of your friends um, but you will be with at least one of them, all right? And the information from your primary school teachers is vital for that as well. So I can get the inside knowledge into what you're like at primary school to help me allocate you to groups as well. So by the 1st of July, you should have that information, all right? If you don't, or if you haven't heard anything from the school, please let me know. Um, my email is e.green at broadwater.surrey.sch.uk. So let me know and um, we can uh, work together to make sure you get all that information. OK, right. Thank you, Lily. So um, and Sam for that question as well. Um, the next questions are from Immy. So um, Immy asked, what will the format be for day um, for day one? Um, will we get a tour and how will I know where to go? Again, really good question. So I hope I've answered the majority of that question so far. So yes, you will get a tour on your first day because we are treating it like a transition day. Um, when you get, when you arrive, so um, Imi asked, how will I know where to go? That's a really good question. So if you all, um, on the first day in September, if it we, we do go back to normality and schools are opened as normal, then you will all go through reception and then you will all be um, um, located to the main hall where I will sit to you in your tutor groups. Um, at the moment, I'm not entirely sure if that is going to happen. Um, we've got to follow instructions from the government. Um, so, until anything like that is said or changed or anything like that, I will let you know. So I will do another video with some more instructions and information that will be helpful to you in year seven. But for the moment, I am planning for you to come through the reception door, say goodbye to your parents or whoever's dropping you off. Come through reception and go and sit in your tutor group um, in uniform with all your equipment ready to start your start your time at Broadwater um, and then you will be taken to um, a, a house assembly that you will have led by your um, heads of house, your uh, leader of achievement. So I'm head of Aquila and Mrs. Loosley is head of Pegasus and Mr. Waite is head of Phoenix. So we will do a little assembly to welcome you to our school, welcome you to our house um, and then you will be led to your tutor groups to have some tutor time to get to know each other and get to know your tutor. All right. Um, thank you for that question. Do I need to do homework on a computer? I mean, that is a fantastic question, um, especially in um, the times, the challenging times that we've been having at the moment. Um, yes, some of the homework that is set by your subject teachers will need will require a computer so for example with maths um we use an online portal called hegarty maths um please feel free to have a look at it um you will get your login details when you start with us in september to hegarty um and be and that we set your homework the maths teachers set your homework through that um so that you can you can complete it online um, other subjects would prefer you to use a computer or certainly a tablet of some kind. We use an online portal called Show My Homework, Satchel One. Um, so we put all our homework on that for you. So you will write in your planner the homework that was set and then see Show My Homework. And then there might be, I know for my students, I might set, I'm head of drama, so I set a section of a script or I might give a PowerPoint with a monologue on, or um, I might say, right, watch this clip of this performance and then annotate it. Um, so yes, you might, yes, it's more than likely that you will need um, a computer and um, the internet as well for homework. Um, if you don't have access to a computer, 
um, at home, we have a homework club um, that happens that takes place in the library. You might have seen this from our helpful hint video. Um, so that is open for you to use from 3 p.m. when school finishes till 4 p.m. So you can try and get your homework done in that allocated time using the resources that we have at school. If, however, you can't use their resources because you need to get home for certain reasons or transport, um, let us know um, in September and then we can print out any information um, that you will need so we can print out worksheets and things like that rather than, than you doing it online and then just make sure you bring it into us and hand your homework in like everyone else would do um, when it when it's due. Okay, thank you, Emmy, for that question. Um, what sort of food does a bistro serve and what does a typical meal cost? How do we pay for the food on the first day? Really, really good question. So what sort of food? Oh, well, let me tell you. Oh, um, so we have a hot meal, a different hot meal every day for a three week period. Um, so it could be macaroni, cheese and garlic bread, uh, lasagna, or it'll be, um, oh, they do these lovely uh, wraps. I can't remember what they're called now, but these lovely, oh, falafel wraps, which are delicious um, with chips. Um, there's always fish on a Friday, which I'm sure you already have at your primary school. So they might do fish and chips on a Friday, or we have sausage and chips on a Friday. Um, which is every Friday, which is amazing. It's my favourite, sausage and chips. Um, so we do a range of hot, delicious meals with um, a hot dessert. So it might be sponge and custard, something like that, which you can purchase. Um, and then we always have at the bistro um, paninis. So like cheese and bacon paninis, cheese on its own paninis for vegetarians. We have um, gluten-free options as well. We have a salad cart. We have pizza slices. We have cookies, crisps, popcorn, a range of drinks. So um, a huge amount of choice. Jacket potatoes we have, which I love. Um, so a huge amount of choice um, to have at break time or lunchtime. Break time, we have a smaller amount. Obviously, we don't have the hot food. Um, other than sort of paninis and bacon rolls and things like that, we have at break time and then at, at lunchtime we have the, the bigger meals. So that the lasagnas and salads and garlic breads and things like that. OK, um, the typical meal cost, it honestly depends what you buy and what you want for, for dinner. Um, for dinner, for lunch, should I say. Um, it's normally up to around sort of four pounds, um, which be which would be your typical sort of for your lasagna and garlic bread and a pudding and a drink would be around four pounds, um, something like that, four to five pounds. Um, but um, I can double check that for you um, to make sure that obviously bistro staff aren't in at the moment. So I'm not 100 percent sure, but that's roughly what it would be. Um, so and you'll be able to find that out on your first day. We have the, the price list up for you so you can have a look at it. So you know that you've got enough. Um, on the first day, obviously, you can bring money to put into your card. And I, I showed you how to um, put money on your finger, should I say, because we use a biometric system. So you put your finger on and you can put money on it or gateway. Parents are um, and whoever's at home can do this via gateway to put money on. So you're ready. Um, your biometrics will be done on your first day, so you will be able to use it. Um, but I would suggest as well bring a snack or a packed lunch on your first day um, just in case there's a little bit of a problem or if the canteen, for whatever reason, it is not allowed to be open due to government guidelines, um, you will be requested and you will, I will let you know beforehand, but you will be requested to bring in a packed lunch. OK. Uh, next question. This was uh, we had quite a few actually asked this question. So thank you to Sam, Oscar, and Georgie asking, will I be in the same house as my brother or sister? Um, really, really good question. And yes, you will be unless specified otherwise. So if you've requested not to be and you let me know, then obviously I won't put you in the same house. Um, but yes, we try and keep siblings in the same house. Um, so for example, Sam's um, older sister Holly is in Aquila, which is my house. So Sam will be in Aquila. Aquila as well. Um, it might be a case of that uh, you would rather be with a friend who has an older brother or sister in a different house to you. Please email me if that's the case, that you don't mind not being in the same house as your sibling or that you would rather not be. Um, it's completely up to you. But for the moment, yes, you will be in the same house as your sibling. Okay, thank you for those of you that asked that question. 
Can you bring a snack for break time? Was asked again by Immy. Yes, you can, but no nuts in it, please. We are a nut-free school, which means we do not have any nuts in any of our food at Broadwater. So please make sure that any food, lunch, like if you bring a packed lunch or snacks, that they don't contain any nuts, all right? Do I have to use a fountain pen? No, nope, you do not have to use a fountain pen. Just a blue or black biro is fine. And then make sure you have your other equipment, which is all on the um, in the booklet, the transition booklet, the intake booklet that I sent you um, a couple of months ago now. Goodness me, that's gone quick. Um, so you have your green pen, because we do dirt with green pens. Have a calculator, a ruler, a rubber, a pencil, all those things. Make sure you've got those things in your pencil case when you start with us in September. Are all year groups mixed together at lunch and break and is lunch staggered for year groups? Right, really good question. So um, lunchtime is at quarter past 12 every day. However, in your first two weeks of joining us in September, you will have a slightly earlier lunch. So you will go to lunch at 12 o'clock instead of quarter past 12. This is to give you time to get used to the bistro and get the food that you want and to get your kind of bearings around the school. So you know from which lesson you need to come from to get to the bistro and then the bistro back to whichever lesson you have after lunch. Um, so it's important that you use that time wisely to get to know the school um, and that we have the biometric system working as well so you can then access all the bistro lovely food. Um, but that's only in the first two weeks. After two weeks, you will go for a normal lunch like everyone else and then you will go to the lower school playground where I showed you in the helpful hint video. Are the tutors mixed groups or will I just be with my year group? Also, do tutors, uh, tutor groups stay the same for the rest of the time at school? Good question. Uh, thank you, Emmy, again. So um, the tutors were mixed. We had vertical tutoring, um, but we've recently changed that. So this term, we've actually changed to horizontal tutor groups. So now when you arrive to us in September, all your tutor groups will just be all filled with year seven students. There will be no other year groups mixed in with your tutor group. All right. Um, and yes, the tutor groups will stay the same for the rest of the time. The only time they might change would be to um, from year te years 10 to 11. Uh, but at the moment, that's been very undecided. That's um, not been decided. Um, so for now, yes, you will remain in the same tutor group for the rest of your time at Broadwater. All right. Um, what, uh, what sort of school bag should I bring? What a great question. It's so difficult to choose which school bag as well. So, um, I haven't been to Smiggle, I think, yeah, WH Smith, if that's still going, <laughs> all of these other shops that sell, uh, bags that you might get from sports shops, JD Sports, um, so I don't know what's cool and what's hip and what's, oh gosh, I'm so really old now. Um, but you can bring whatever school bag you want to school. It's completely up to you. Um, as long as it doesn't have any, anything offensive or inappropriate on, that's absolutely fine. Um, what I would suggest is that ma the majority of students bring rucksacks. Um, and the reason why they bring rucksacks is because one, it's easier to carry around school with all your books in if you don't have a locker. And two, it fits pretty much everything in. So if you bring a packed lunch, you put it in your rucksack. If you bring um, all your books and folders, pens, pencils, pencil cases, yeah, they all fit in a rucksack bag. Um, so I would recommend to use uh, a rucksack if possible, rather than, um, I don't recommend using a handbag at all, um, because I don't think you can fit much in a handbag. My handbag does look a bit like Mary Poppins's handbag, um, but I can't sort it out. So I actually like to use a rucksack now and again um, if I'm on days out and things like that. It's a lot more organised, so I would recommend a rucksack on that one. Okay, I think, oh goodness me, have I gone through it all? Yes, I think that is my, la that was my last question. Let me double check. Yes, brilliant. Okay, so goodness me, that's 25 minutes of questioning and answering. Sorry, that was quite long, but I hope I've managed to answer all your questions. If you have any other questions, please let me know and email me. Um, if you'd like to let me know of anything else that might have changed during lockdown or what you've been getting up to, that would be amazing to hear. 
um, of what you've been doing. Maybe you've learned a new skill or maybe um, you've gone back to school and you're learning about transition at school as well. So let me know how you get on. Um, I'm really looking forward to coming to see some of you at your primary schools. Some of you I understand might not be there. Um, I can't visit all of your primary schools. Um, however, I'm coming to some of them. So um, please don't feel um, disappointed that I might not come and see you because we will do hopefully a Microsoft Teams meeting as well, which I will let you know all the details for. All right. So uh, keep in touch and I will let you know your tutor groups and houses by the 1st of July. All right. Take care, you six. Bye for now.